If you are after any Ultimate Team coins, make sure you check out ut1buy.com and use the discount code JARADHD to get 6% off your order. Enjoy the video, guys. G'day, guys. How's it going? It is Jared HD here. Welcome back to Jared's Journey, episode number 9 of my FIFA Ultimate Team Road to Glory career. Oh, sorry, not career mode, my Road to Glory Ultimate Team series. We kick off today's episode being matched up against this guy. Very interesting hybrid squad. Has a bit of Bundesliga, a bit of Serie A, a bit of uh, Argentina. Looks pretty rinky dink, but it doesn't matter how rinky dink your side is when you are conceding goals like that Rodrigo eight minutes into it does give us a 1-0 advantage quickly fellas I'd like to apologize not for uploading at all this weekend been very busy lately started back at school and just been super duper busy but I'm hoping to upload consistently in the future so look forward to that but we push on here Jose Callihan does give us a 2-0 advantage against this guy 12 minutes into it and I was honestly expecting this guy to rage quit straight away. Hopefully we can pile on a few more goals and really cause this guy to rage quit. But Marco Royce is played through here 20 minutes into it, slotting it past Handanovic and unfortunately closing the gap, making it a 2-1 scoreline. Definitely not what we wanted. Just after the second half has begun here though, Jose Callihan on the ball, squares it up there to Mertens and the Belge center attacking midfielder does give us a decent advantage once again. We have a top two goal cushion and we are ahead 3-1. 62 minutes into it though, Marco Royce again causing us some troubles as he does get past my piss poor defending, takes a strike and that is an absolutely remarkable goal there from Marco Royce, one of my favourite German players, absolute gun he is, he really puts us under pressure now as Kevin Morales, he's going to whip it in to Rodrigo, what a goal from Rodrigo, the Spanish striker with what an acrobatic finish. That is absolutely insane. Uh, I could not believe it when he scored that. Just holding down the left trigger and that was beautiful. 90 minutes into it though, Costa plays it over the top to the Roma player, Aturbe. Aturbe, he's going to cut in, taking the shot and making it a 3-4 scoreline. Hopefully we can hold on to the lead and we managed to do that successfully. Picking up all three points in what was an absolutely crazy game to be a part of. A 4-3 victory over clean FIFA. We do pick up 500, just over 500 queens for the victory. And we do get our first three points in this division. Nine games remaining and this is fantastic to see. I'm pretty sure we are in division eight. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but... Uh, the second matchup of today's episode, 94 chemistry, which is a little bit uh, of a good sign to see. He has a Premier League squad besides his striker, Baz Dost, and the left back from Dortmund. Hopefully, we can take advantage of this and get all three points. Eight minutes into it, though, our main man, Ben Arthur, cuts in. Ben Arthur, he's on the ball. Such good dribbling in space. Takes the strike. And, son, you guys know what is coming. You have just been Ben Arthur. Ben Arthur, what an amazing player. Perhaps my favorite player in Ultimate Team this year. Such an absolute gun. As we push on here, 35 minutes into it, Jack Wilshere on the ball, takes a strike, he gets taken down in the box, and the referee awards a penalty. Kind of helps Jack Wilshere there. It was a pretty poor shot in my opinion, but his uh, centre-back, Johnny Evans, the Man United man, has been shown a straight red. Didn't know if that was warranted. Uh, definitely a penalty, but a red card. A uh, bit harsh for that guy. But anyways, our main man, Ben Arthur, stepping up, putting it to the right-hand side. And for the second time in this matchup, my opponent has been Ben Arthur. Absolutely fantastic stuff there. Vargas, though, playing it through to Nordovic. And Nordovic is one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. He gets it past him. Takes a little deflection, though. And it is now a 3 Nil advantage, and that is enough for my opponent. He rage quits at halftime. 3 nil victory, and that was absolutely fantastic. 346 coins added to the points total, and we are now 2 from 2 in Division 8. Absolutely fantastic to see. Life in Division 8 has come along quite nicely. For the final game of the episode, I decided to test out our Australian side. A uh, bit of a risk, and look at this guy's team. Team of the year, Lam. 
Inform Muller, Inform Oscar, Aguero, Courtois, Boateng, company. That is insane. Against my silver and bronze side. And it just shows early on there. As my opponent goes ahead 1-0. Thomas Muller giving him the advantage. Uh, and that was not good to see at all. Probably could have cleared it off the line. But let's see if my Australian lads, who have just won the Asian Cup... If, let's see if we can make things right. Sergio Aguero up, running up the line 15 minutes into it. He's cuts in. Poor defense there from Spranovic and Cole. Takes the strike, getting her past Mark Schwarzer. And unfortunately, Aguero makes it 2-0. But Rukovica to Timmy Cahill. Back across to Nikita Rukovica. The Australian right midfielder whips it into Timmy Cahill. Goes out to Tommy Juric. And the Tommy Gunn, my favorite player in real life, makes it a 2-1 score. And the white Pele... Bringing things back and going to make this second half interesting. 43 minutes into it though, Timmy Cahill on the ball. Plays it over the top to Nikita Rukovica. The Wanderers man is through. 1-1 on -one with Courtois and he does put it past Courtois. It goes down as an own goal. But Nikita Rukovica has tied things up here. 2 all with our bronze and silver Australian side versus this guy's team of the year, Lam. Mila Yadnak goes for the header, but it is a good save there from Fibo Courtois, who does whip it out there to Thomas Muller. Unfortunately, Thomas Muller now on the counter-attack. The informed player does get past and pierce poor defending there on my behalf. One-on-one -on -one with Mark Schwarzer, and you would back Thomas Muller to bury that one every single day of the week. Nikita Rukovica, though, to Tommy Urich. Tommy Gunn to Rukovica. The Wanderers chemistry coming through right now. He cuts in. One-on-one -on -one with Courtois. 65 minutes into it. Nikita Rukovica. Take a bow, mate. That is fantastic. This game, what a game. Holy crap. Nikita Rukovica. Oh my god, I cannot describe how fantastic that is. 75 minutes into it, Robbie Cruz to Tommy Urich. The Tommy Gun gets past Phil Plum. He plays it through to Rukovica. We know what's coming. Rukovica gives us a 4 3 advantage. Our bronze and silver Australian team is defying the odds here. We have defeated a crazy team. Team of the year players, informed players. Lam, I cannot believe this. Take. About son Nikita Rukovica getting a hat trick. We get 514 coins for the win, and we are now three from three in Division 8. What a fantastic episode that was, undefeated, and those boys have got the job done. If you enjoyed today's episode, make sure that you smash the crap out of the like button. Really helps me out. Make sure that you subscribe if you are new around here. Follow me on Twitter at JaredHD, but most importantly, fellas, have a fantastic day. It's been Jared HD here. I'm out. Peace.